Hello everyone. Uh, my hello everyone. My today video recording is uh, related to the routing protocol configuration on the dealing switch, and uh, here is my topology. I have one switch uh, uh, on the left hand side with a VLAN 10, and on the right hand side I have another switch which is VLAN 20. So I'm using the uh, interface FA1 slash 0 slash 1 as a layer 3 interface as a routed interface on switch 1 and uh, on the right hand side I'm also using the same interface but with a different IP address. Okay, so this is a very simple exercise. Uh, I want to reach uh, I want to reach the uh, left hand side uh, subnet uh, from the right hand side. I will connect my PC to VLAN 20 and I will try to reach the VLAN 10 uh, uh, end host and from VLAN 10 to VLAN 20 host. So it's a very simple exercise. Let uh, access the switch on the left hand side first to apply the desired configuration. So I'm using this uh, MOBA XTEM utility and uh, I'm connected via the console to the switch. Uh, on COM1 port with a baud rate of 11.5200 and uh, as you can see it is a D-Link DGS3630 switch so let's apply the design configuration as you can see show VLAN there is no VLAN by default and I will create uh, this VLAN 99 and VLAN 10 on the left hand side uh, left hand side switch okay so let's apply the desired configuration first of all I will create VLAN 99 exit and VLAN 10 that's it show VLAN sorry do show VLAN as you can see I have two VLAN right now now I will create the layer 3 interfaces accordingly so 192 uh, 168 10.1 255 255 shut exit and I will create another layer 3 SVI for uh, VLAN 99 no shut do show VLAN do show IP interface brief as you can see nothing is connected to VLAN 10 and 99 now I will assign the interface to the desired VLAN Ethernet uh, interface range Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 till 2 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN uh, 10 no shut and interface Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 3 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 99 no shut sorry no shut exit as uh, let me show you again show VLAN as you can see interface 1 and 2 is a part of VLAN 10 and interface 3 is a part of VLAN 99 show IP interface brief as you can see the VLAN 10 is up let's uh, apply the configuration to the second switch uh, on the right hand side okay Yeah, now my console cable is connected to the second switch. Mm, as you can see, show VLAN, there is nothing. Show IP interface. Brief, there is nothing except the default ones. So let's proceed to the configuration VLAN 20. IP address 192.168.20.1.255.255. Uh, sorry exit VLAN 99 exit interface VLAN 20 IP address 192.168.20.1 slash 24 exit 
interface VLAN 99, IP address 192.168.99.2.25.25.0, no shut, exit, interface uh, range Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 till 2, switchboard mode uh, access, switchboard access VLAN 20, no shut, exit, interface, Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 3 switchboard mode access switchboard access VLAN 99 no shut exit now show VLAN and uh, show IP interface gray ok so as you can see 20.1 and 99.2 99.2 and uh, this is VLAN 20 so it is 20.1 okay so let's apply the configuration on the Ethernet card and see whether I can see my left hand side network or not so properties as you can see my IP address is 20.60 60 and 20.1 is my gateway okay so ping 192.168.20.60 I can ping myself 20.1 I can ping my gateway but when I try to ping the IP here 10.2 As you can see, I will not be able to reach. So it is 20.2 minus T and minus S with 192.168.20.60. Uh, As you can see, I am not be able to. I am not able to ping 20.2. So what we have to do? We have to enable the routing in between. Okay. So how we will enable the routing? Uh, I'm connected to the right hand side switch so in right hand side switch uh, as you can see I have two network which is 20 and 99 so router rip network 192 192.168.20.0 and uh, network 192.168.99.0 uh, no passive interface okay no need of this command I will just apply the simple configuration okay show IP route as you can see I don't have any route here because on the left hand side uh, I didn't enable the routing so let's enable the routing on the left hand side switch as you can see show IP interface brief so it is 10 so config t router rip network 192.168.10.0 and network 192.168.99.0 okay so show ip route yeah as you can see i can reach uh, uh, i can reach to 20 dot subnet via 99 dot 2 okay so show ip interface brief as you can see uh, the ip address of the left hand side switch is 99.1 okay this is 99.1 and i can reach to 20 dot subnet using 99.2 now let me show you the right hand side switch uh, configuration uh, show IP interface brief okay as you can see which is 20.1 and 99.2 and uh, show IP route 
as you can see I can reach to 10 network by 99.1 so let's verify the ping let's ping uh, sorry I have to disable my Wi-Fi and I will disable my routing as well okay let's ping uh, sorry ping 10.2 uh, minus t with minus source of 192.168.20.60 let's verify the ip settings yeah i can reach because uh, i'm connected to the right hand side network and my ip is 20.60 and 20.1 is my gateway and as you can see i'm using the source source command with 20.60 i'm connected to 20.60 network okay and as you can see i can reach 10.2 so where is 10.2 according to my pvt this is my 10.2 which is second pc connected to the left hand side network so it was a small exercise related to the rip routing using the dealing uh, dgs series uh, 3630 switch it's a layer 3 switch and you can use uh, 3130 also and uh, I will make more videos. Please kindly like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, uh, please comment and I will get back to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.